what Mike Pence's spokeswoman Katie Miller said after being sent to a child migrant detention center to become more compassionate Katie Miller, a former spokesperson for the Department of Homeland Security was sent to Children Detention Center on the U.S. border during separation policies separated families who sought asylum in U.S. By crossing border illegally aim of sending a miller to a center was to generate some compassion for migrants in a book written by NBC journalist Jacob Soboroff, Miller claims it didn't work President Donald Trump eventually signed an executive order in June 2018 ending the process of separating children from families by James Gordon for DailyMail.com published, 6.54 BST, the 8th of July 2020, updated, 12.15 BST, the 8th of July 2020. Vice President Mike Pence's spokeswoman Katie Miller was sent to visit a child migrant detention center on the U.S.-Mexico border in order to become more compassionate, but claimed that the visit didn't work. A new book reveals, Miller, who is married to President Donald Trump's senior advisor for policy Stephen Miller, was interviewed by NBC News correspondent Jacob Soboroff. For his book Separated Apostrophe. The book details the Trump administration's zero tolerance family separation policy earlier in the administration's term. Miller previously worked as a spokeswoman for the Department of Homeland Security while the agency that was overseeing the separation of children from their parents after they crossed into the U.S. between 2017 and June 2018. Katie Miller, a former spokesperson for the Department of Homeland Security and wife of Trump policy advisor Stephen Miller was sent to Children Detention Center on the U.S. border during separation policy The U.S. began separating children from their parents in May 2018 as part of a zero-tolerance policy toward migrants who illegally crossed the border Miller told Soboroff that she was sent to one of the child migrant detention centers for herself in an effort to establish some empathy for the immigrants that were crossing the border. My family and colleagues told me that when I have kids I'll think about the separations differently, but I don't think so. DHS sent me to the border to see the separations for myself, to try to make me more compassionate, but it didn't work, she is reported to have said. Soboroff's interaction with Miller was recounted on NBC's Rachel Maddow show as the host read an excerpt from the book. Soboroff is said to have responded with incredulity to Miller's statement, the aim of sending the Miller to a center was to generate some compassion for migrants said it didn't work? I will never forget what I saw. Seriously. Are you a white nationalist? I asked, exasperated, sober off detailed, Miller replied, no, but I believe if you come to America you should assimilate. Why do we need to have little Havana? The family separation policy which ran between 2017 and June 2018 saw around 4,000 migrant children being separated from their parents at the U.S.-Mexico border. Many of the detention facilities they were placed in were also deemed to be unsanitary. Soboroff was among the first journalists to expose the reality after seeing firsthand the living conditions of the children in custody. That was, Kitty Miller in the throes of the national uproar over this government prying kids out of their parents' arms, Maddow said speaking about Miller's comments. The DHS separated families who sought asylum in U.S. by crossing border illegally. Pictured, children inside a United States Border Patrol Processing Center, in McAllen, Texas migrant teens are pictured held inside the Tornillo, Texas detention camp inside the facility. The temporary shelter was supposed to hold 360 but ended up holding thousands. Katie Miller, is now the Vice President Mike Pence's press secretary. She is pictured here attending the president's first re-election campaign rally in several months in the midst of the coronavirus disease outbreak, at the Box Center in Tulsa, Oklahoma in June the images sparked fury over the morality of separating children from their parents, as well as concern from Republicans about the negative impact it had on their party's image.
The photos showed children being held in unhygienic conditions sparking international condemnation. At the time, Ms. Miller defended the separations, insisting the welfare of children in our custody is paramount. In a book written by NBC journalist Jacob Soberoff, Miller claims that she did not feel compassion and that the trip to the centers didn't work. President Donald Trump eventually signed an executive order in June 2018 ending the process of separating children from families. The effects may be long-lasting. In September a report by the Department of Health and Human Services Inspector General detailed how children who had been detained were suffering acute psychological trauma. According to program directors and the mental health clinicians, separated children exhibited more fear, feelings of abandonment, and post-traumatic stress than did children who were not separated, the report said, adding that some children expressed acute grief that caused them to cry inconsolably. Katie Miller married Trump aide Stephen Miller in February, and the couple are soon expecting their first child. Her current role is as Vice President Pence's spokeswoman and is involved in communications regarding the White House's Coronavirus Task Force. Let's block ads. Why? Show your love for him. Click the link in description. Thanks for watching.